Coco. <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> Lovely. Good morning, everybody. Today I'm the one who is late. And he's already in the park waiting for me. And I'm very excited because today it's two of us. And that means we are doing twice more jobs. Yeah, finally. Well, no, actually, you're working and relaxing. Yeah. This is what that means. <laughs> Yay! I love Saturdays and Sundays. <laughs> At the house today the first tiny little project is to clear in the summer kitchen because it was total disaster all this week since we got the cabinet and organized the cabinet we left the whole kitchen as a total mess and yeah that has to be changed right now <laughs> Sergi is cleaning the beams in the little bedroom up there, so it is really noisy and dusty there. Um, and I think I will continue with this corridor. And the plan for now is to clean this wall from the dirt and dust and crumbling parts of the wall and to continue cementing up there as i started here that will be the plan and then to continue covering this part this corner which has only the first layer on so yeah and i think this wall uh, will be done differently uh, we will pull the plasterboard and then just plaster over so for now, this is the plan. <laughs> Let's have a look there. Oh, no, 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 it is too dusty. Wow, wow, it is beautiful. Wow, wow. Okay. Wow, the timber is so beautiful in the little bedroom. And it is different, it's much newer than those beams. This is the chestnut. And it's probably, it's definitely more than 100 years old. Uh, it's much more, as people say. So, yeah, I'm really, really happy about having this timber. But it is different in the little bedroom. And I didn't see it being cleaned. So it will be something new. I'm so excited. Already I'm loving it because it is much lighter. So it will be easier to work with it. While I'm waiting for the big ladder to do my cementing, 
um, I think I will do a little but very important project. I will clean the toilet <laughs> and make it nice, more or less. Because all the time we were using the, the downstairs loo where we demolished everything. <laughs> And uh, but now it just looks horrible, and we will be continuing works there, and we will remove the toilet uh, eventually to to do all the plumbing and things, and we need a um, lovely toilet, especially now in spring we have so many friends coming and stopping by for a drink, so we need to make more or less nice toilet for them, and that will be this um, toilet on on the balcony. <laughs> Um, we haven't done anything to it, uh, but removing the uh, the cobwebs here, and uh, it is tiny loo, really lovely, with a little arch here on this wall, and um, the toilet itself, and a tiny little window, and the sink, all covered in dust. <laughs> so that will be changed um, now. And uh, I hope soon it will be a lovely and pleasant toilet to use. One of the first things is to remove those. These are the handles for, for, for the chimney brush. And then um, to remove this wonderful um, curtain. <laughs> I will be making another one, a cute one for here, but for now it will be like that and it is so much lighter already. Look how I spot it. A moth. I will let her go out. Oh, poor thing. Okay. Get out. Look at her. Get out. It is really nice and warm outside. <laughs> okay. I think this little bedside, bedside table uh, can go temporarily there as we can put toilet uh, paper and things inside and use it there, there and it is really pretty so I think it, it it is moving there look how much sun we have on the terrace <laughs> oh this is so good and on the porch in this planter we have very happy um, pansies. Also the daffodils, which I don't think will be blooming. They're really thin. Look at them. Just look at that! Oh, how beautiful she is! Oh my god! Look at that! Oh, now I want a mimosa tree at our garden somewhere. Look at that! How beautiful! I'm on the mimosa hunt to get some flowers for the house and to get some back to the apartment to put mimosa everywhere.
Look at that. I'm in heaven. Look at that. It is so pretty. And the sun is shining. It's big. It's huge, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if, if... Oh, no, we have to open the door. After this explosion of sunshine, I'm back in the dark house. <laughs> and um, Sergi uh, gave me the big ladder and I will be doing the wall cementing this part and let's have a sneak peek in the little bedroom because he was cleaning and I haven't I just had a little sneak peek I haven't seen I haven't looked well at the beams that he's cleaning This is really soft. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. 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 And finally, we are doing a very important project <laughs> um, installing the support. The same level. Uh, more, or less. more or less, yeah. Lovely. <laughs> exactly, yes. Uh, next one. Let's do next one. Let's do because this one, this level, I think this branch is very strong and it will grow really fast. I was dreaming about this. For many years to have um, an espalier trees and we will see because I've never done it before I've seen once in a gardening center a tree like that and it looks absolutely beautiful and it's an amazing way to grow fruit trees in a very small place uh, also that allows uh, to the tree to get as much sun and heat as possible Mm, as all the branches grow in one dimension and get as much sun as possible and the, the more fruit can ripen and grow and ripen so hopefully that will give us lots and lots of fruits and uh, actually people say the cherry tree isn't well for to be spalied but we will see I think it's a good experiment <laughs> last rains of sunshine in our garden and now we have so much it is so lovely and warm here in the Prosecco corner and I would love to sit there and have a little aperitif right now but I have to finish my bucket of cement and only then we can or maybe I don't know coding maybe we have to sit down on the sun for a little aperitif and then yeah, finish yeah because later it will be shady and cool i think we have to enjoy sunshine now 
and I have spotted something really cool in my terraced garden. Look at that! Look at this! It's just in one day! <laughs> in one day it grew so much! It's huge! I think this is the, um, the highest scent. <laughs> I like it, this job, the supervisor and the quality control, sitting on the sunshine, controlling everything. <laughs> I love seeing this sight. First strings are being installed. <laughs> and there is no sun there is no sunshine in our Prosecco corner, but it is warm enough to have a little aperitif. So we'll prepare that while Sergi is installing the strings. At the summer kitchen, look at that! Oh, I can't believe how beautiful they are. What do you, where do you want to have aperitif? Yeah. Down here or up there? What I wanted to do, before it gets really dark, I wanted to put some flowers in our new loo. So let me pick some of those um, branches and put them in, in the little loo, which is this tiny thing, like a balcony thing. <laughs> well, this is so much better already. Look at this luxurious toilet. <laughs> toilet to the right and sink and little window to the left. <laughs> well, we don't have any little mirror to put here, so I put this little plate temporarily but if I see a lovely window, I will buy it and place it here. But for now, it will work like that. We don't have running water. Well, we do have, actually, but we close it because we are not sure the state of those pipes and the system and, well, anything. We can't really leave it open. So for now, we flash with a bucket of water, which works. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday I went through the old pictures because sometimes I'm getting a little bit uh, naughty and being a little bit depressed and thinking that uh, we haven't done much and things like that. But then I went through the pictures and looked at the garden, how it used to be. and. 
now sitting here it is so lovely so we just have to continue doing things inside and then eventually they will be finished one day more or less not finished but done to the point where we can move in and and leave there <laughs> But just look at that. I will put some old pictures of this terrace when we started it. And I think the most horrible part was when there were rocks everywhere. And it's just, it looks like a um, catastrophe or something like that. And now, even now it is not finished, but it is pleasant and usable. And the only things ahead of us are just um, watching it grow and bloom every single flower and plant here and I'm so happy that I have planted that I didn't listen to anyone who told me that it is too early to plant um, seeds for for them for their grass uh, who told you? Uh, because everyone told me now Sergio says this is his project I know but remember I told you that everyone says it's too early and it was I wasn't laughing anyway don't listen to him <laughs> um, I forgot what I wanted to say <clears throat> We planted Sergi. Sergi planted them. He's very proud of his project now, and I'm not allowed a single to say a single thing. All right, but I'm really happy you planted them. He's smiling. <laughs> uh, later this autumn, because now we have we have some color here at the Prosecco corner and uh, Sergi so, sowed some of the seeds here which is also people say oh it is too early but I mean it is not early it's fine and if it dies we will sow it again nothing happens but we have move movement at the garden and I like that I like trying things straight away and see what happens um, because usually actually it's a very successful experiment <laughs> I can imagine um, in this summer the terrace will be just amazing. All this wall will be green with all these palier trees. The rose, the climbing rose, will be blooming and covering this part of the wall. Um, then roses here and bushes, they will be that tall, like that. And all the grasses and flowers and sages here. It will be difficult to see the path. It will be tiny like that. So there will be flowers and bushes like that hanging on both sides. And then we will have a lovely terrace with flagstones in the middle and grass around it. And the climbing rose here like that. Just a huge bush of climbing rose. So it will be all different, but even now it is so lovely and I'm so, so happy I started this project um, early this late, late, uh, last autumn. It was a very good decision. And now it is my job to train the branches on those strings uh, like that. And we will see if we have to make any more. We just have done a few and we are able to add as many as we want. We just had to start because it is a little bit scary to start this project. We've never done it before. Very exciting.
case we are done for today and we will be going home and um, I wish you all a very good day and 